this Saturday was just a, a case of doing what was necessary to get get the points, and um, you ultimately did that. Yeah, it was, it was a tough game. Um, you know, you always set out to to play well and and to do the things that. Uh, to make it expansive and you know to pass it and do do that kind of stuff, but you know they they come in with a really good plan and and, and thwarted most of our most of our play. So it was um it was a case of sort of really battling that out and and trying to find a different way to win, which um which I thought we did. And you know once we got that goal, it, it, was, it was fairly comfortable after that. It was just you know just a case of getting that goal and, and breaking the resistance really. Is that something that you guys are having to get used to a little bit more this season? Is, is having the Teams that, that you're going to have to try and break down rather than teams who are, who are coming at you. Yeah, I think we we kind of experienced that a little bit at the back end of of last year. Um, you know, we had that habit last year of of conceding the first fifteen, which then made it you know a much much more difficult task. So I think we we we've slowly started to uh, to eradicate that, and um, you know we know with the quality of players that we've got at the top end of the pitch now that. You know, if, if you get a clean sheet, then then the boys will normally produce something. So, um, you know, it's just a case of, of, of being patient, not taking um, not taking too many risks while trying to you know try and play the way that we'd, we'd like to, but not at the not at the sort of cost of um, of sort of playing too risky or, or giving them opportunity. So it's just trying to find that balance of um, of, of trying to keep our style and trying to play the way we want to, but also. You know, being pragmatic in, in in what's available with the way the teams play against you, really. And a clean sheet feels like it's been an awfully long time, and, and for the defence, it must be so sweet to walk back in the dressing room on, on that Saturday night, knowing that you've you've, you've kept the team out. Yeah, it always feels nice, especially a one 0 clean sheet. Always um, always feels a bit better. Um, I think it been coming. I think against Cambridge, I think we probably should have should have kept it. It was frustrating that. So we switched off in the last sort of ten, fifteen minutes um, of the game, and when really that game was dead and buried. So that was, it was really frustrating um, from that Saturday. So it was nice to sort of go one better and and to get the clean sheet. And uh, you know it was a good all-round team performance really in terms of from a defensive point of view. I think you know clean sheets always looked at like the back three and a goalkeeper. But you know we are part of a bigger unit, and you know from the front to the midfield, it, it all helps when everyone does their job. And um, you know as a team, I thought we looked pretty solid. I mean, the team's sitting in fifth place at the moment. Um, should, should everybody be looking at Milton Keynes Don slightly differently now? Because, you know, for a long time it's felt like you've been, well, towards the bottom of League One and then last season obviously passed into the, 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 the middle of the table. Should we start to be looking at the MK Dons in a way that going to Hillsborough tomorrow night, you should be the favourites to, to win this game? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, not too fast out on anyone else sees us really I think um, within the stadium obviously in the, in the dressing room we know what we're capable of we know what our objectives are but I think from the outside it's actually quite nice I think and this year's crazy in terms of the names that are in League One I think some of the teams in, in League One are probably the strongest it's been for probably 15, 15 years in terms of Sheffield Wednesdays and uh, Ipswiches and, and the calibre of teams that, have, that are in it so it's it's kind of good in the way that it's took a lot of the spotlight off Maybe a few of the, the middle-sized teams really, and it's just allowed us to sort of go go about it, which I'm not complaining about. I think it's a, it's a good thing, and um, if we, if we sort of let the football do the talking and um, and sort of stay underneath the radar. Well, the football certainly appears to be doing the talking, doesn't it? It's, um, it feels like it's been a long time since we've had a season that started as well as this. Yeah, it's, it's um, probably back to what the League Two season. I think when we we sort of started pretty well, but obviously in League Two, so it's nice to be doing it at a better level again, and um, it's really where the club should be at, at a minimum, really, so it, it's nice that we're sort of um, back onto that footing and back sort of into the old groove of how, how we used to play and sort of playing that attractive football with um, sort of a young, talented squad. Is, 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 um, it's nice to see. Does it feel different this season compared It, it does in a way because obviously the fans are back. It almost feels like a a bit of a regeneration, you know. It, I think under well, last season, I think we you know, we, we played really well and it was kind of we, we sort of were evolving and the style came back and we we sort of found our feet again and we knew what we wanted to be. I think um, the fans come back in and all of a sudden you have that extra ten percent sort of automatically creeps into your game and it um, probably eliminated some of the bad stuff that we were doing. 
that because there were no fans you could you could get away with because I don't think fans really wanted to see us pass the ball a hundred times to the keeper and back, you know. But at the time, you know, you're, you're building it was it was done for a reason, I think. And uh, but I think with the fans come back in, it almost it, it it pumps up a little bit, gives you a bit more of adrenaline, and it's um, that nice mix now. And I think it, it does feel different. Um, such a young team, and uh, it's nice to see some academy boys coming through again. And so it's it's, it's got a real nice positive um, vibe about the place. It certainly seems to be bringing the best out of you as well. You know, it's been a great start from the, the, the season for you personally. I, I, I certainly think, anyway. Yeah, I've been doing okay. Um, position that sort of suits me, and um, you know, lucky to have the players around me that sort of um, make my life a little bit easier. So it's um, it, it's been going well, and I'm sort of glad to be part of a, a successful team, really. It's one of the great places to go, isn't it, Hillsborough, to, to play football. Um, Certainly been a lot of draws between Dons and Wednesday, certainly up there, down the years. Um, been a long time though. Um, what, what sort of threat are you expecting from, from Sheffield Wednesday tomorrow? Well, they're, they're, um, I think they're just, just finding their feet now after sort of the relegation and um, they seem to be hitting a bit of form. So we know it's going to be a real tough game. I think they um, lots of quality, especially at the, the top end of the pitch. So um, it'd be a very difficult game. And obviously with with the, the crowd and the atmosphere, you know, it makes it... It makes it doubly difficult, but um, you know, on the flip side, there's there's always that pressure of, you know, if you can nullify the fans and and, and play our stuff and, and put them on the back foot, it sort of um, that that all sort of reverses round and flips. So um, I mean, we'll be going there trying to trying to do that and, and to play our game. And I think you know we've got more than enough to to cause some to cause some real problems and um, you know, hopefully get a positive result. Can you remember much of the last time we were there? I think it's five five years ago, 2016, I think it was. And, um, Charlie Burns was in goal, yeah, nil nil, yeah. The, the, the state of play that the, uh, that the game was in um, at that time. Yeah, I, I remember it well actually. I think they, hit, I think they hit the post three times, I think, and uh, I think they had a player sent off, didn't they, as well? And then he chased someone around the pitch trying to kick him. I can't remember who it was. It was Forrest Eagle itself, and, and then one of our boys picked up, it might have been Samir, picked up the ball, and he chased after him and, and kicked him. <laughs> it was a strange game, yeah. It was a. Uh, we actually played alright that game actually. We did we did okay up there, but it's um yeah, it's, it's a ground we always seem to do um we seem to do okay at, you know, considering their size and sort of their, their stature, we always seem to go there and, and put on a reasonably um good show. But yeah, yeah, young Charlie's debut at Sheffield Wednesday was a yeah, it was a it was a good good nil nil draw.